Vagar was born from a dragon egg on Dragonstone and said to have breath so hot it could melt armor and cook a knight inside it. Vagar's first known rider was Visenya Targaryen, Aegon I's sister wife. Vagar would be rode by Visenya into many battles during Aegon's conquest. After Aegon I's initial landing in Westeros, Visenya would first fly Vagar to Stokeworth Castle to force their surrender to Aegon. At first, a few bolts were fired at Vagar. But as soon as she unleashed flames on the roofs of the castles, they quickly submitted. Vagar would also be used during Aegon's conquest to set fire to an Aran fleet and set fire to a field, burning over 4,000 men and resulting in the ending of House Gardener and the surrender sworn fealty of House Lannister to Aegon I. Later, Vagar would fly Visenya up to the Eyrie to force the Eyrie surrender. After the surrender, Vagar, mounted by Visenya and the young boy heir of House Aaron, would go on a joyride. Even later, Vagar would be used during the First Dornish War that started in 4 AC and four years into Aegon I's reign. Vagar, mounted by Visenya, would unleash fire on Doran towns and castles over and over and over until peace negotiations in 13 AC. In 42 AC, five years after Aegon I had died and Visenya's nephew, Aenys I, had died, Vagar would be flown across the narrow sea to Pentos to bring Magor back to the Seven Kingdoms. In 44 AC, after Visenya's death, Vagar would eventually pass to Lena Velaryon, a young girl that rode Vagar as early as 12 years old. Lena would fly Vagar across the narrow sea and visit many free cities in Essos, where crowds would come to see Vagar. Eventually, Lena would die in 120 AC, and a 10-year-old named Aemon Targaryen, son of Viserys I, would claim the dragon Vagar. This would cause a fight to break out between the boys of Viserys I and the great-grandchildren of Viserys I's daughter, Rhaenyra. Aemon would lose an eye in this fight, but he would win Vagar for himself. By 129 AC, Vagar had grown quite a bit and was almost as big as Balerion the Black Dread had been during Aegon's conquest. She was also the largest living dragon at the time, and no dragon was as fierce as Vagar. She was so large you could ride a horse down her gullet. She had also survived hundreds of battles by this time, and her roar was so powerful it would shake the foundation of Storm's End. When the Dance of the Dragons started in 129 AC, Vagar was drawn into the war on the side of the Greens since she was now Aemon's dragon. The first casualty of the Dance of the Dragons was when Aemon flew on Vagar to Storm's End to bring Lord Baratheon to their side of the war. However, Luke Velaryon, on the side of the Blacks, showed up a little bit after him at Storm's End as well. Though Aemon wasn't allowed to attack Luke in the castle, once Luke left on his own dragon, Aemon followed him on Vagar. The two dragons would fight over Shipbreaker Bay during a terrible storm, and it would end in Vagar severing the dragon's head and sending Luke into the water below, killing him. Vagar would roar in triumph as the boy and the dragon crashed into the sea. And though Vagar would be involved in some other fights during the Dance of the Dragons, including burning most of the Riverlands, the last one she fought in was with Aemon above the God's Eye against Prince Daemon Targaryen and his dragon. The fight between the two men ended when Daemon Targaryen leapt mid-air onto Vagar, killing Aemon with his sword and sending the dragons crashing into the water below. Vagar would die in 130 AC in the water at the age of 181. Her body would be recovered years later after the Dance of the Dragons was over and her skull mounted on a wall in the Red Keep's throne room until the usurper Robert Baratheon had the skull moved to a dank cellar with the rest of the dragon skulls. 